Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the modular assets and uh, kind of how they're built, how you can use them, and some uh, things to kind of watch out for as you're, you're working with them. So um, first off, let's kind of just go over how these are created. So uh, each tile, aside from the edges, are perfect squares uh, with pivots in the corner. There's uh, prefabs created for each of these with collisions. Um, so the reason I made them this way uh, is for multiple reasons. Number one, they snap together. Um, they're all powers of two, so if you duplicate one, hold control if you have your snap settings set correctly to power of two, um, you can snap all these guys together and they will seamlessly uh, fit together. Uh, another thing that, um, that these tiles um, can do is um, they are, um, uh, you can tile them in any direction uh, rotation or mirrored version of them and they will all match up um, as long as they're you know the type of pieces that should match up so I've duplicated this piece here I'm going to hold control and just uh, oops, snap rotate it uh, over here and so even though I've rotated it it will still match up you know perfectly here so um, all the assets will do that so it doesn't matter you know um, which way you rotate them um, they will match up you can even um, take these and um, you know mirror them on uh, negatively if you need to flip them, and they will still match up. Um, now Unity once in a while will give you a bit of a seam like this here. Um, it just happens; it'll do little numbers for you, and uh, it'll sometimes add little. Um, Kind of movements and, and things like that. Um, so it's just part of the way Unity does its object placement or whatever it is. Um, if this happens to you, um, I highly recommend you use the vertex snap in Unity. So by holding V, you can move your cursor around and select any of the vertices that are on the mesh and then move them and snap them to another vertice on uh, uh, an adjacent mesh. Um, now I do recommend when you are working with these to start in the corner and um, and then use vertex snap to align them from that first box and then work your way out. The last thing you want to do is create an environment like this and realize that the box in here um, doesn't match up to uh, some of the other meshes and then you have to move that and all of the boxes and, and meshes attached to it. You don't want to get yourself in that kind of uh, finicky kind of trouble. Um, so, you know, be careful with that. If you do run into that and, um, you know, you can always scale them a little bit and then cover up any kind of Z fighting or, or strange things with meshes. Um, but, you know, try and be as clean as you can. It'll, it'll save you a bit of headaches with them. Um, so, basically, the uh, all these assets are... Um, they're all created uh, with the same pivots in mind, with the same um, um, sizes, so you can drop any mesh in here. Um, you can hold uh, the V and select one of the corners and just snap it to another corner and it will perfectly align. Um, and even sometimes when you do that, Unity decides not to, if you do it from too far away, not to actually snap it perfectly. So you may need to adjust. So make sure you look around your meshes like that and uh, you know to get a, as best of a seamless uh, environment as you can. Um, so that's kind of it um, of using these. So just uh, drag and drop them. Um, if you're going to uh, use snaps, I highly recommend you do. Um, go to edit and snap settings and make sure that your move is set to a power of two, uh, even if it's just that two. So that way you can duplicate, hold down the control button and move these along um, and then do that. Um, for workflow purposes, if you're going to make big hills, um, you know, you can bring out the other uh, hill meshes to get some variety, but if you just duplicate the same one over and over um, and then just uh, download um, a prefab swapping utility and that way you can just select every other hill and then swap it with a different version. It's a good way to kind of go about it. Um, so that's pretty much it for these guys. Um, you know, try and be really creative with the way you use them. They are quite versatile, so you can do uh, you know, some nice cliffs and hills and uh, strange intersections and things like that and have some fun with them. And um, again, they, they will uh, go quite well with the uh, landscape or cavern set, depending on what you're using, and uh, they should be quite versatile. Uh, but if you do run into any problems, if you notice there's any seams uh, or issues or misplaced vertices, or if you just have any ideas for additional uh, add-ons, please let me know. Email me 
at the email provided in the uh, readme doc and um, I'll be more than happy to help out. So uh, hopefully this is a little bit useful for you guys. Um, it's just like a quick overview of, of how to place these um, assets. Uh, but again, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, ask. Thank you.